Hello and welcome to another standard video here in the brand new Bloomborough meta. A new standard meta game often means a new build of Monorad Aggro, which is perfect for taking advantage of people that are still trying to figure out how to optimally build their decks, that may be skimping on some of their early removal spells that could otherwise punish aggro decks like this. And this is essentially the old build of Monorad Aggro, introducing a bunch of the new mouse cards from Bloomborough, which have been quite impressive out of the red-white mouse deck that I featured a week ago. And uh, yeah, it's also a relatively budget-friendly deck, so if you're just looking for a cheap and fast deck to rank up, this might be the deck for you. Now, Monorad is not always the most well-liked deck, since it's often omnipresent on the ladder, and you can get a little bit tired of facing it over and over, but it is also the type of deck that you need to know the ins and outs of, so you best know how to beat it. So even if you dislike Monorad Aggro, I still encourage you to watch a couple of games to get a sense of how this deck operates. So now let's take a look at some of the new cards. Starting with our creatures, we've got Heartfire Hero, a 1-1 mouse with Valiant, saying whenever the hero becomes the target of a spell or ability we control for the first time each turn, we can put a plus one plus one counter on it. The fact that it also triggers off abilities is incredibly relevant, because that means it also triggers off a Manifold Mouse targeting it, giving it either Double Strike or Trample, and we can also enable it with a Rock Face Village, which will give it one extra power and haste until end of turn, so that can also result in an extra plus on plus one counter, and then when the hero dies it deals damage equal to its power to each opponent, so it can also deal a bunch of damage on the way out. So usually the goal with a hero is to get as many plus one counters on it as possible. If we have some pump spells to increase its power, it can also get even better. Then we're still playing the full set of Monastery Swift Spear, just as another nice aggressive one mana creature with prowess that can trigger at instant speed. Then at two mana we've got the Ember Heart Challenger. Just a two mana 2-2 two -two with haste and prowess would already be quite good, but this is also a mouse for any mouse synergies, and Valiant lets us exile the top card of our library that we get to play until end of turn, so we can also play a lance off the top or potentially find additional spells we can cast. And then our final new creature is the Manifold Mouse, which also has Offspring for 2 mana, so if we pay 4 total we'll get an additional 1-1 one, one version of it. And then at the beginning of combat on our turn, target Mouse we control gains our choice of Double Strike or Trample until end of turn. So we are limited to targeting our mice, but with 12 in the deck that's usually not a problem. And then a Manifold Mouse is the perfect follow-up to a turn 1 Hardfire Hero, as we can be attacking for 4 damage. We essentially have a 2-2 two, two Double Strike that will still have that plus 1 counter on the following turn, so that's a great start. And then a slick shot show off can be an excellent way to close out games, especially if the opponent doesn't have removal for it or no reach creatures to get in the way. And then with enough non-creature spells to enable it, this can burst the opponent from 20 to 0 in no time. And then taking a look at our non-creature spells, we are playing 8 burn spells as either removal or ways to target the opponent directly, with 4 shocks as play with fire rotated out, and then a lightning strike still in standard. Then Monstrous Rage is perfect here to give us a monster roll token for that permanent plus one plus one and trample, and then two extra power until end of turn. So this also pairs very nicely with a double strike from Manifold Mouse to deal a ton of damage. Also very synergistic with Hardfire Hero, since if it dies it deals additional damage on the way out. And then a Might of the Meek, another payoff for controlling a mouse creature, giving a trample a ton of turn and drawing a card, and then also plus one plus so if we control a mouse. So great with any of our prowess creatures especially. And then we also have two copies of Demonic Ruckus, which gives us another one mana play if we decide to plot it, and then can give plus one plus one, menace and trample. So once again, very synergistic with any of our Valiant creatures, and then can also draw a card when the Ruckus is put into a graveyard. And then as we mentioned in the mana base, we also have the Rock Phase Village, which gives us another decent mana sink to potentially immediately attack with a Hardfire Hero, but also just as a way to enable Valiant on Hardfire or Challenger, even if we cannot attack, can still be a decent use of our mana. And then 18 Mountains, so again very budget friendly, just 12 rares, and then just commons and uncommons. So that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the play with what looks like a Keeper. Swiss Spear into Manifold Mouse. Sadly can only give Mice double strike, so can't target the Swiss Spear. But can still pump itself up as well, especially once we get Might of the Meek going. Opponent Red-Black, maybe Lizards. So there's no point in playing Manifold Mouse before attacking. And if our opponent's keeping up cut down, they may run into a monstrous rage. 
But uh, yeah, I'm okay with Manifold Mouse here. And then we're most likely gonna see cut down end of turn, we don't. So maybe it was a bluff. And Felden's next, alright, so opponent doesn't have any blockers. Which means we can do a lot of damage with this Manifold Mouse. Start with Might of the Meek. And then I could activate our Rock Face Village. But I think going for Monstrous Rage is reasonable while the opponent's tapped out. And then give a double strike. Attack for 13. So your opponent's pretty close to dead next turn. They need answers for both of my creatures. Or at least have a blocker for one of them and removal for the other. Right, Furnace Reigns steals my Manifold Mouse. And then they actually get to make two treasure tokens. That's very nice. All right, let's see what they can do with that leftover mana. If they can sack mouse, kill Swiss Spear, that would be a disaster. It's going to be Monstrous Rage instead. Okay, one more treasure. Anything else? Nope. So, opponent still dies, but yeah, that was a cool turn. Double strike with Furnace Reigns as kind of a combo. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We've got a Keeper. Some removal with Shock. And then we've got options on two, whether it's Manifold Mouse to set up Monstrous Rage or maybe a Slick Shot with or without plot. Seems to be up against the uh, red-white tokens deck. So shocking the Inspector isn't strictly necessary. May want to keep this to answer a Warden before it gets a chance to grow. And then I'm also not too afraid of opposing removal, at least not yet since the case only deals one damage. So, could go for the Manifold Mouse, and then next turn get a nice Monster's Rage turn with Slickshot getting pumped as well. Sometimes it's also worth it to wait on uh, Offspring so we can make the extra token. With Village we can also give the Mouse Haste, so we did have some options. But going for Monster's Rage next turn with double strike seems nice. Now let's see if they have a gleeful demolition here. Looks like it. Okay. And a frontliner. Do they also have a knight errant to convoke? They do not. Still a pretty good turn. So I think slick shot is still reasonable. And then Hardfire Hero we can maybe give haste to with a village next turn. And for now, just gonna play Slick Shots attack with Double Strike. And I assume Monstrous Rage is gonna come in handy. Our opponent may just take it. And it's actually interesting whether we want to monster roll on Slick Shot or the Manifold Mouse. But of course, this turn with Double Strike, we would get a lot of extra damage in. Long term, the Flyer could get in more evasive damage. If they can make a bat token with the Evangelist, then trampling over the bat could be useful. And of course, if our opponent's got a case next turn to take out a creature and pump their team, we're in trouble. But that was going to be the case either way. Gonna be the evangelist. So they do now have a flying blocker. And our opponent's going all out on the ground. Maybe setting up a uh, recruiter next turn. Might of the Meek was a decent draw. So I could play Hardfire Hero, give it haste, and then have one mana left over. Think I'm better off just trampling the slick shots, see what we draw. And then I may end up just pumping the Manifold Mouse with the Rock Face Village. Demonic Ruckus. So yeah, I think our opponent's just dead here if we go Ruckus on Slick Shots for Menace. And then attack. And 
and then shock is a bunch more damage. This has menace, so can single block it. But yeah, shock would do it too. Sweet. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. We are all in on this Heartfire hero. But yeah, with the Might of the Meek as a redraw and plenty of ways to enable Valiant, it may not be a bad place to start. Play the Mountain first, since Rockface Village doesn't cast our Instants and Sorceries, so drawing a Mountain next turn would help. Opponent Black White Bats, it seems. Okay, so... Could now play the slick shot and attack, even though we miss out on a Valiant trigger for the turn. Or I could Might of the Meek, but then I'm kind of wasting my mana a little bit. So slick shot it is. And then ideally draw Mountain next turn. An Eaten Feast into a Rune Lurker. So that is potentially worth taking out. Drew a challenger. Can be a way of hitting additional land drops going forward. Could also shock the rune lurker to prevent any potential synergies. But just hitting a land drop here would go a long way. And then we want to target the hero to enable Valiant. Right, found our land. So now just playing Challenger and attacking seems fine. Opponent may enable some life gain synergies next turn. But we should be able to unload quite a bit of damage as well. All right, Cosmos Caller can now attack and gain a bunch of life back. But they're not going to have the best of blocks, especially now with Manifold Mouse. So question is whether we target challenger or hero. Probably still the hero, give it double strike. Since if I exile land with challenger, I wouldn't be able to play it in the middle of combat. Would still be useful second main, I suppose. What if I just go attacking without playing manifold mouse? I kind of waste the mana from Rockface village. So yeah, I think double strike makes sense. Attack. And we'll see what happens. Put on block slick shot. So we can monstrous rage there. Or we can monstrous rage elsewhere and then still trade, because it's not like monstrous rage is gonna save it. So then if I monstrous rage hardfire hero, I get in for 12, 13, 14. So yeah, that's just lethal here. And we would still trade for Zarlin. Even a damage to spare from Prowess. So yeah, Monster's Rage plus Manifold Mouse is really the way to go here. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with a decent hand. Turn 1 already have quite a few options. Swiss Spear Hero or Plot Demonic Ruckus. I think curving Hero into Manifold Mouse is going to be my best start. And then we can keep the Haste creatures for later. Slide of hands, opponent on a blue deck. And we're immediately on the board, hitting the opponent for 4 damage here. So that's pretty brutal. So they'll need some cheap interaction. And next turn, we have a bunch more great options going Swiss Spear and then Ruckus. Could be one play, or we can play the slick shot first. Opponent does keep up two mana. So start with Swiss Spear. See if that resolves. They may have a bound spell for Heartfire Hero. Plotting the slick shots still a fine play regardless. So let me move to attackers. Still gonna go for double strike since it's kind of a baseline good play. And then if they bounce hard fire, it's only one mana to redeploy at least. 
but we don't learn to damage happen. And then now we can plot, so we waste our mana in case they were sitting on a counter spell. And now they're gonna prankster, filling the graveyard some more. So probably just a haughty djinn type of deck. We see Tolarian Terror. There's also maybe the new Crab they could be playing, which they can play for double blue if they have enough instants and sorceries in Graveyard. Which could maybe tap down some of our creatures. Picked up Shock, so yeah, this is gonna be pretty hard for the opponent to survive. So let's start here. Ruckus on Hardfire would be the easiest way to go about it, but of course they're likely to have some interaction here. So that being said, maybe good Demonic Ruckus on Swift Spear. Or on the Manifold Mouse itself, since Swift Spear is going to grow up to 3 power here. Although then if they bounce Manifold, do we still have Lethal? Yeah, maybe go for Swift Spear then. It's kind of our lowest value target. And then attack, this time going for Trample maybe, over Double Strike. And then an all-out attack, if our opponent chumps, slick shot, bounces, hard fire, I can still shock. And then get in for 7, put them to 1. So yeah, for now we can let damage happen. Opponent does indeed seem to have a bounce spell into the Flood Maw. That was to be expected. So yeah, I wonder if there was a way to have a guaranteed lethal through the bounce spell. But this seems fine to me. And then we just replay Heartfire and pass a turn. And our opponent still has a million problems they need to deal with. Alright, sweet. On to the next one. We are on the draw with the Keeper. Now we don't have any removal, so if our opponent's an aggro deck on the play, we could fall behind. And we're also pretty light on ways to enable Slick Shots and Valiant with just a Monstrous Rage. But uh, yeah, it's still a keepable hand, I think. But our opponent is on Monorad. So yeah, the Mirror Match on the draw without removal could be a bit of a problem. At least we have a lot of threats, so if the opponent kept a hand with a bunch of removal, it may still line up fine. It's gonna be Flail instead. Okay, equips Swiss Spear. And we did find a Manifold Mouse, that's a good draw. So that's another way to enable Valiant. Double Strike, get in for four. And then next turn I could potentially target the Challenger to maybe hit a land drop or find a 1 mana removal spell. Codebreakers next. Can they remove Manifold Mouse? Just an attack for now. No blocks. Alright, so no removal it seems. Or else they would have enabled Prowess. So next up, do I go Slick Shots, try Monstrous Rage, Hard Fire? How much damage are we talking? So Hard Fire up to 6, with Double Strike is 12, 13, plus 3 is 16. So this would be Exaxis if we go Slick Shot plus Monstrous Rage. So I guess we'll go for it. Attack. Monstrous Rage. And looks like we got there, wow. Turn 3 kill. Yeah, and I thought our hand was pretty medium, but sometimes you don't need removal if you can just kill the opponent straight up. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Just have the one creature, although it is a good one. But it could be a bit of an eggs-in-basket situation, which doesn't always work out. 
I think I still try it, since we're pretty likely to find another creature along the way. Can also cycle this on an opposing creature if we're really desperate. Swamp Hopeless Nightmare. Alright. So in that case, do I discard a land or a Might of the Meek? Rock Face Village could still be useful to give something haste later. Um, also, way to enable Valiant. So I think I'm leaning Might of the Meek. And then for now, play Manifold Mouse. Still probably going with Mountain first. And hope we get to attack with it at least once. Alright, Deep Cavern Bats. Probably going after Lightning Strike. Is their opponent perhaps on a mono black discard deck? So our goal is just to empty your hand as quickly as possible so they can't make us discard anymore. Opponent did indeed take the Lightning Strike, drew a Slick Shot, that's a good draw. Although, of course, cannot give the Slick Shot a double strike with Manifold Mouse, it's only another mouse we can target. But uh, yeah, let's go to attackers. And double strike attack. And then Monstrous Rage now is probably worth it just to get the extra damage. Opponent falls to 9, can go back up to 10 if they attack. They know our hand. Let's see if they have removal. Another Nightmare gets rid of our Might of the Meek, which did represent a lot of extra damage here. And our opponent passes with presumably a removal spell in hand. So that's going to target the Manifold Mouse, whether or not I activate Rock Face Village. But I may as well, since it's the only thing I've got going. And yep, opponent's got to shoot the Sheriff. This uh, not a outlaw, so they could potentially take it out in future turns. Alright, so we are in trouble now, officially. Opponents got a nice bit of discard and then a key removal spell. So now we're just left with a slick shot in top deck mode. A lightning strike's not bad, since we can get back our author lightning strike. But it seems like they have another removal spell in hand. So, may as well cast this now. And yep, opponent's got another go for the throat. So, get our lightning strike back. But we're in top deck mode. And a shield root is probably going to be too much for us to handle. So, yep. Opponent has the right setup to beat this mono red aggro build for sure. Challenger I can still target with rock face village. Just to trigger it, maybe hit a land drop for a turn. Um, if I attack, opponent could block. And then we trade for Lightning Strike. It's not pretty, but maybe that's the way to go. And then second main, I can still activate Rock Face Village. So that happens. Found a Shock, which I cannot cast. So now it's extra painful if they make me discard again. Yep. So had I cast a Lightning Strike in the opponent's turn, we still would have gotten a bit of extra damage out of it, but then Challenger also would not have been able to attack. But as it turns out, we would have been able to cast a Shock. So yeah, things are not going to plan, but the game was already pretty much decided. Preacher also very good against Mono Red. So yeah, if you're looking for a way to beat Mono Red Aggro, this Mono Black build seems pretty well set up. Just lots of discard, spot removal, and then creatures that are difficult to burn that can also gain life. It's kind of the perfect storm. Now, if they were maybe short a removal spell, then uh, a slick shot can certainly still get there. But 
But yeah, this game seems very much over. And another village, so... Trigger Valiance. And I can't think of any top deck that saves me here. Even our double strike mouse with offspring, if I make an extra token, it's not like we're hitting for that much damage. And likely still dying on the way back. Opponent can sack the nightmare to scry. Found a shock. And uh, can go to attackers. Bluff an attack with a Swiss Spear, perhaps, but again, it's unlikely to make a difference. And yeah, Shieldred blocks Swiss Spear. Shock is not enough to beat it. Is there a point actually reconsidered? Alright, so go to Shock while we can. And then die to the Death Touch creatures. Well, we tried. But it wasn't meant to be. GG's once again. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play with uh, Keeper. Keep up Shock, and then, depending on the matchup, either cast or plot Slick Shot. Up against a Lizard's yeah, I'll shock the uh, Hard Claw here, since it does deal quite a bit of damage over time. Can't really block it early. And then against Lizards, I'm okay just getting in for one, even though they do have some removal spells. We've got another Slick Shot coming up. At least Gecko wasn't able to make additional mana. And then now Slick Shot number two. And I may just want to shock their face. And then we get in for 8 total versus taking out the Gecko. Gecko can enable some of their synergies as well, but if they don't find removal specifically for Slick Shot, they're just going to die to them. They don't have any flying or reach creatures, so this is maybe a fine race. And I imagine if they did have removal, they probably would have prioritized it over playing the Gecko. But we'll see. Another rock face village, so they only have one mana they can really use for removal spells. And it's a laughing Jasper Flint. Okay, found a manifold mouse, which I can cast with offspring, but of course we cannot target Slick Shot with the ability. Uh, so instead, Lightning Strike can go after Jasper. As opposed to going face, if I go face, we hit for nine, put him to two. Going Lightning Strike on Jasper is still reasonable here. Since it is the type of card that could win them the game if it goes unopposed and hits a removal spell. And then a the question is whether to play Manifold Mouse. I think we do. The next turn I can pump it up with Rock Face Village. And get in for a little bit of extra damage. So any non-creature spell of the top is great, any mouse is great, and a land, we just activate Rock Face Village. Opponent's got the Flame Caller, so it can amplify their damage. And they still have a mana available. Alright, found a Hardfire Hero, so play that. Give it haste with Rock Face Village. And then we can go for Double Strike as well. Okay, uh, let's see. So what if I now give the Manifold Mouse double strike, attack all out, then they can block Manifold Mouse and die. But of course they do potentially have removal. So let's say they then take four, block Manifold Mouse, kill Slick Shot with a cutdown. Then Hardfire Hero is kind of a must block, but if they kill it, they die since they don't have any life gain. 
And I don't think we're at risk of dying on the way back next turn at 15. If I double strike Heartfire Hero, then I guess they're forced to jump. If they don't cut down, if they do cut down, they still die. All right, I guess it doesn't matter here if they have the removal spell. Alright, opponent cuts down, but now it takes three damage and dies to the slick shots, so... Opponent was between a rock and a hard place. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a fine hand. No one mana play, but uh, still a good mix of threats, a removal and a pump spell. Turn one swamp, so if we're afraid of a cut down we can plot slick shot. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. And then if they keep up two mana next turn once again, we do the same. It's gonna be a deep cavern bat, probably taking the lightning strike. And then we'll see next turn if we draw land or not. We do. So now I'm kind of liking double slick shots with a monstrous rage. Or we can get the manifold mouse going. Although maybe playing it with offspring is the way to go. If I were to play challenger to target it with monstrous rage, the valiant trigger kind of goes to waste. So that doesn't feel great. So yeah, I think I'm okay going slick shots times two and monstrous rage. Even though combining Monstrous Rage with Double Strike could be even more damage. It's going to be somewhat tricky to set up against a removal-heavy deck, presumably here. And this gets the damage going. So now if we draw land, Mouse with Offspring looks good. Opponent's got Liliana, so... Slick shot down, but we can trample over to finish off Liliana at least. <laughs> Their opponent may as well attack. And we found a Swiss Spear. So now I'm liking just Challenger Swiss Spear. Still probably worth it to finish off Liliana. And the rest can go face. Yeah, now that Path of Peril is no longer in standard, there's fewer sweepers we're afraid of in the early turns. Against white decks, there's still temporary lockdown, but against mono black, their sweepers usually start at 5 mana, unless they're packing one of those minus 2 minus 2 effects, which can be effective, but they're a bit more situational than just destroying all creatures with mana value 2 or less. Another Liliana could discard Manifold Mouse, but goes after a Swiss Spear, so now Manifold can at the very least give Challenger double strike and demonic ruckus so hoping to hit a one mana instant we can cast otherwise i can still plot the demonic ruckus and once again an interesting choice whether or not to take out liliana since i can plot demonic ruckus it's not a must answer right now since they can make me discard Although I've been in situations like this before and regret it not uh, finishing off the Planeswalker, so let's still go for it. I'll be back with friends. Alright, and then Ruckus plus Monstrous Rage should be an easy kill. But yeah, they were kind of just dead on board with just a Demonic Ruckus. But now we had a lot of extra damage to spare. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand's a little questionable, just one creature, no mouse for Might of the Meek. And yeah, just a couple too many lanes. So I'll take a mulligan. This is a little bit better. And then probably find to bottom a mountain and keep Rockface Village. 
even though there are situations where we'll want more red mana to cast instants and sorceries. So turn one Swiss spear. It looks like they have a cut down. Alright, at least it's not taking out my more valuable two drops. And then next turn we'll see if we want to plot a slick shot or maybe cast a manifold. So their opponent black white and looks like a bat deck with case of the uneaten feast. So they will have some life gain in there. Now Ember Hearts also an option. Get in for two and then next turn if we draw lands maybe go slick shot plus might of the meek. Or a Manifold Mouse to give a double strike, still pretty good. Alright, Zorlin is a card I would like to take out with a Lightning Strike if possible. Although Manifold Mouse for double strike still allows me to attack. Plus, I might hit a land drop, which is still pretty important right now. So I think that's still worth it. Found a lightning strike, which sadly I cannot cast here. Offer the trade. Opponent takes four. But we can maybe try again next turn. Lunar Convocation, which they can enable right away, making a bat. And uh, yeah, that also gains life of the case. So that's a very nice card with the Pain Land, Caves of Koilos. Demonic Ruckus to draw. Yeah, not quite what I need. So I'm still probably going to attackers. Pumping the Challenger, and then hoping to hit a land. And then I probably need to Lightning Strike Zorlin. Alright, we did hit a land. So now let's say I go double strike and they jump with a bat. We can trample and then second main lightning strike Zorlin, even though I miss out on the prowess trigger. I think that's still worthwhile. And I can easily see them uh, jumping with a bat. Alright, so we get to trample. And then do I take out Zorlin now? I guess we can wait. Since they may take damage from caves thinking they can make a bat. Opponent goes to attackers. Or lightning strike. And let's see what's next. If they just play creature, they likely die to the Demonic Ruckus. Bone plays another Zorlin, which does actually make another bat end of turn. So they've got two blockers, but now with a shock especially, this should be game. Just Demonic Ruckus on the Challenger, give a double strike, and clear their only blocker. Alright, so it was a bit of a shaky start. Opponent had plenty of powerful life gain synergies. But they didn't have removal, which is kind of the key here in this matchup, I feel. Since, sure, you can gain a bit of life, but once we get our double strike engine going, we just deal so much damage that gaining two or three life in a turn still doesn't really make up for it. So you really need spot removal, whether it's cut down or go for the throat, to keep this mono red deck in check. And yeah, so far I've had a very good time ranking up with it. The deck's also very budget friendly, since you don't need any rare lands in the mana base. If you've already been playing Mono Red, you probably have four Slick Shots already, so just add eight more rare mice from Bloomborough to the mix. And I've been quite impressed by the whole mouse package, Heartfire Hero, 
into manifold mouses the stuff of dreams and then we've had uh, plenty of kills with double strike and trample closing out games and the challenger is also just a very solid two drop two to haste with prowess would already be a great card but it also has additional text on top of that so can't really complain rock face village also the perfect addition to the mana base even if it can lead to a little bit of awkwardness at times but yeah all in all a very good deck and this is also the type of deck you'll need to keep in mind when designing any best of one deck going forward can you beat the curve of hardfire hero into manifold mouse do you have answers to a flying slick shot show off if you don't then you might just get run over so yeah that'll do it for today's gameplay wanna thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and as always have a nice day